this is Miss Sebastian, and we're going to look at unit rates today. Nasir is buying school supplies. He purchases eight notebooks for $12.48. How much does Nasir pay for one notebook? Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to set it up as the price per notebook. Okay, so you always put the price on top divided by the number of notebooks he's getting. So if you have your calculator, you can do this division, or you can do long division. I'm going to use my um, calculator just to go a little bit quicker, since we've already practiced our long division. So $12.48 divided by 8 does give me $1.56 per notebook. So number two, if a magazine has 60 pictures on 10 pages, what is the unit rate of the number of pictures to pages? So that means pictures goes on top, and we've got 65 over 10. And you can still label those. So you make sure you remember what they are. You can use your long division, or you can use your calculator for that division. And you do come up with 6.5 pictures per page. Okay, number three. An item travels 70 feet in 10 seconds. So it wants feet per second. And we've got feet on top, seconds on bottom. Now this is a very simple division, 70 divided by 10. If we do, um, sorry, if we simplify both of those by 10, 70 divided by 10 gives me 7, 10 divided by 10 gives me 1. So that was a simple one to simplify to the unit rate of 7 feet in 1 second. Okay, this next one, an item travels 263.5 miles in 31 seconds. Now, this one's harder because these numbers are not ones we're used to looking at. So, this one, you can use your long division. Okay. And when you divide, you do get, get 8.5 meters for one second. Okay, and you can use your calculator on that or you can use your long division. Just remember to divide the bottom into the top. Okay, so we did get 8.5 up there. Okay, number five. Tanisha paid $35 for seven movie tickets. Okay, how much would 15 movie tickets cost? This is when it comes in very handy to have your unit rate. So I need to figure out how much it would be for one ticket. So I'm going to divide $35 by 7. And I know my multiplication um, tables, so I know that this is $5 per one ticket. So to find out how much 15 would cost, I'd just multiply 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So I know that 15 tickets would cost $75. Number 6, Marion packed 60 softballs. I'm going to put SB in five boxes. Okay, how many can she fit in 11 boxes? So, I'm going to say, okay, how many can she fit in one? So, 60 divided by five does give me 12 softballs per box, and I've got 11 boxes. So, I'm going to multiply 12 by 11. Okay, you know your multiplication tables there, and you get 132. So, 132 softballs in 11 boxes. Number seven, a basketball team scored 
1,450 points in 25 games. Find the unit rate. So all I'm going to do is divide 1,450 by 25. And I get 58 points per game. Okay, if you ever forget um, what goes on top and what goes on bottom, Look at your answer, what it's wanting. It wants points on top, games on bottom. It'll tell you what order that it wants those in. Okay. So this next one, a toy rocket was launched into the air and traveled. Our answer says feet per second, so I'm going to say, okay, 691 and 12 hundredths feet in 21.2 seconds. How many feet did the rocket travel in one second. So, all we're going to do is do 691 and 12 hundredths divided by 21 and 2 tenths. And I get 32 and 6 tenths feet per second. Okay, so this one, Zach buys 6 cucumbers for $2.16 at the supermarket, at the grocery store, not supermarket. Okay, what is the price for one cucumber? So we want the price for each. So the price goes on top over the number of cucumbers. So all I'm going to do is divide 216 by 6. And I get... 36 cents each. Number 10. Can I scoot this up? There we go. At a pet store, the employees are chipping in for pizza. Jace is ordering eight small pizzas for eight employees. If Jace spends $80.96 for eight pizzas, how much does each pizza cost? So he bought eight small pizzas, so $80.96 for eight pizzas. I could say eight goes into eight one time. Eight goes into zero zero times. Eight goes into nine one time with one left over. And eight goes into one six, sixteen two times. So my answer would be $10.12. Okay, number 11, Bryce is exercising on a stationary bike. He burns 144 calories in 15 minutes. What is the number of calories Bryce burns per minute? So calories per minute. So all I'm going to do is divide 144 divided by 15. And I do get 9.6. Okay, number 12, Jonathan can jog 5 kilometers in 40 minutes. So 5 kilometers, 40 minutes. So I'm going to divide 5 by 40. So that tells me he can jog this much of a kilometer, um, 125 thousandths of a kilometer per one minute. At this rate, how far can he go in 64 minutes? So now, all I'm going to do is multiply this amount by 64 minutes. And I do get 8 kilometers. Okay, you could have set that up a little differently if you would like. Um, but it all works out the same way. Okay, number 13. Uh, Deppa paid, sorry, a hundred dollars and thirty-three cents for a twelve point seven kilogram sack of walnuts. What is the price per kilogram? So all you're going to do is divide a hundred dollars and thirty-three cents divided by twelve point seven, and you do get seven. 
90 per kilogram. Okay, so this one, a bakery sells seven muffins per 350. What is the unit rate? Now, if you look at your answer choices, they have money on top. So I want to make sure I start with money. Usually, anytime you see money, it will be on the top of your rate because it's price per item. So when I divide 7 into 350, I do get 50 cents per one. So that will be my answer. Okay, and the last one on our problems. Select the unit rate that describes each situation. So you've got 3 to 1, 4 to 1, or 6 to 1. So a jogger runs 12 miles in 3 days. Well, if I was to simplify this, it'd be 12 over 3. Divide the top and the bottom by 3. And I do get 4 over 1. So I'm going to check that one. The next one, a basketball team scores uh, 42 points in 7 quarters, so 42 over 7. If I simplify that by dividing the top and the bottom by 7, I get 6 over 1. This one, 36 sneakers in 12 minutes. Divide both the top and the bottom by 12, and I get 3 over 1. A plant grows 16 inches in 4 days. Divide both the top and the bottom by 4, and I do get 4 over 1. And then last, 48 in 8 weeks, $48 in 8 weeks. If I divide both the top and the bottom, by 8, I do get 6 over 1. And hopefully that helps you with unit rates.